Welcome to Tell You Later, the show where you learn so little about so much and vice versa. Sincere thanks to all those who support us on Patreon. See the full list at the end of the show. By the way, there's always room for more. Again. Don't forget to hit like. Don't forget. Don't forget to hit like. Mm -mm. Mm, do not forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to hit like right now. Hit it! You know what? What? We haven't got a title song for this show, so we're singing this thing instead. Okay. It's really just a substitute. Nonetheless, the melody may stay in your head. Oh, I hope so. Cause it's a tune. It's a tune. You'll love to croon. You'll love to croon. Ah, but there's one thing you should know. We have to confess we do not possess a title song for this show. Ain't it peculiar? Believe it or not, we haven't got a title song for this show. Once again, you are under the mistaken impression that I can harmonize. <laughs> okay. All right. Yes. Well, we just I did our little... I can barely sing, let alone <laughs> harmonize. All right. I've decided to put a sucker behind my ear. Is it attractive? Wait. You know, I could do that with my glasses on. <laughs> I just wanted to look different in this episode. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, that, that does it. <laughs> It's, it's kind of a noisy stay. lollipop. It's not going to stay. I'll set it down. Well, if you had a, what, what do you need, a bobby pin or a hairpin or whatever they yeah. call those things? Yeah, yeah. I'm not familiar with the okay. machinations that go on. And... Welcome back. Oh, yes. Welcome back. Uh, this is um, the ninth episode of Tell You Later, <laughs> or whatever it's called. <laughs> it is. <laughs> yes. We'll tell you later if it changes. <laughs> right. Right? Mm-hmm. And um, that's Katie Lee. Hello. And need we say more? <laughs> Evidently. <laughs> and Will Ryan. Oh, thank you. Thank you. That was very kind well, of you. I thought it was your introduction. I did not think I had to say anything. No, 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 no. Now, now in the last episode, um, we, we were, uh, which had, I think, more openings than uh, any previous episode. I think we win the episode opening award mm -hmm. for any show on the internet. Perhaps. Yes. yes. If you're aware of any others, please let us know. Let us know in the comments below. Mm-hmm. Somewhere, yes. Okay, so you were um, bong. Uh, but, but you, but you had a yes. You bong, had, bong, bong. Yeah, you you we're did that little thing, yes. and that and the, the, and and you started talking about NBC, and or maybe I started talking about it, because those notes, as mm -hmm. originally played on the chimes, dinner chimes. Have Have you ever been to a home and it? You know, like there's a little kind of a semi-formal dinner, and everybody's in the bong, living room, bong, and then bong. somebody comes into the room and hits the chimes. Have you ever at a children's birthday party, perhaps? Really? Okay. Yeah. Well, because you know we had those. Didn't you have one of those things you pulled when you were a kid, and it had it was like chimes, and they're <laughs> all different colors. I mean, no home should be without one, as far as I'm concerned. Mm. And make a note of that. Crew of one, we got to get it for our grandson. Well, actually, what would be great is to get actual dinner chimes. No. Which used to be common in, in middle-class homes. And Did I tell you my sister played the glockenspiel in the high school band? Oh, I thought you were going to say in the high school play. No, she is in the marching der, der band. Glockenspiel. She had Hello, to play I'm the glockenspiel. Der glockenspiel. She played the glockenspiel. Really? And that's a funny word. And, not a, and then her son got, my nephew, got a full scholarship to a uh, university, but he had to play... The name of a, a euphonium. Oh, really? Two odd instruments run in our family. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Just well, now that I think of it, because how many families? I'm biting can, my tongue. How many families can say they have a glockenspiel and euphonium player? Probably a lot of them in Bavaria. Perhaps. Yeah. Yeah. But we're in but, California. Uh, now, a euphonium a is essentially. Uh, um, like a French horn tuba? It's yes, it's like a tuba, but you could march with it. Tuba! Which reminds me, we are gonna start playing a song from every one of your album one song from every album In per each episode. episode. So per episode. when I say tuba, 
Yeah. You say the Moonlighter tuba and you. Yes. All right. No, no. You know what? Ch- do that again. Okay. When I say tuba, you say toothpaste. Okay. When I, <laughs> why? Tuba toothpaste. Oh, but no. You have a song on which album? Oh, on uh, the out of print uh, Elmo Ardvark, uh, his first CD. Elmo Ardvark. Yes. Also, you know, the song was, um, a different version of that song was done on Eugene Sings. Really? Yes. The Moonlight, A Tuba, and You. Well, that's really coincidental. On, on Is the... Eugene Sings available? I know. But it uh, will be. All it's these completely are out of going print. to I've be. I've seen it on eBay for over a hundred dollars. Can we? Can we? We can start. And it wasn't but, mine. Can we was, we can start offering them as a download, right? That's the whole point. So I they don't get know. To hear. I don't know. That, that that's under discussion. Well, that's my plan. <clears throat> well, well, okay, interesting plan. <laughs> but uh, we'll yeah, see. because you are an amazing songwriter. Can you play us a little bit of a moonlight? No, I haven't played it in uh, many, many years. Okay, he writes a song a day, so his brain is only this big. So every I, I time a new song comes in, it pushes an old song out. Like no. this. <laughs> out of frame, out of mind. Think of, of the mind, Watson, as an empty attic. There's only room for so many pieces of furniture in that mind. Well, I, I can and, see that. And, and he goes on to say that now that you've explained your theory of the solar system, I shall immediately forget about it because it has no value to me. Ah. You know? So Sherlock Holmes was completely What episode uninterested. is that? Well, that's in... Um, A movie? No, that would be in The Sign of Four, I think, where he... Oh. He meets uh, where Dr. Watson meets this Sherlock Holmes character. He's looking for a roommate for a room. I didn't know that Sherlock Holmes was a science fiction movie. I, it's it's not no or, or no. He first appeared in The Strand, uh, uh, where they, they all sound like science fiction titles to me. The Sign of Four. Yeah. No, it was Enoch J. Drebber of Cleveland, Ohio, uh, and I don't know the family personally, but. But who uh, kicked off the adventure that uh, that uh, pulls in uh, Sherlock Holmes and uh, his he, new roommate? He goes to Cincinnati. John H. Watson, M.D. No, they don't. But but uh, one third of the novel is set in the United States, wow. in the West. The West. Surprising, West. huh? This is the the very first Sherlock Holmes story. You're it? kidding? No. Wow. I, I bet. Know. I bet that new information. Front. Front. <laughs> I think every time I learn something new, <laughs> I'm going to hit that. <laughs> right? Look at all those cobwebs. A new fat. <laughs> well, I'm going to hit you. Okay. So <laughs> every time Katie hits me. <laughs> An angel gets his wings. <laughs> You bet you didn't know that. Uh-huh. Can you? Do, do I'm going to have Jimmy Hawkins those? come in and hit you. <laughs> the moonlight, a tuba, and you. That's close. Let's see. The moonlight, a tu- tu- Is that the yeah. tuba and you? That's all I need for romance. Because we're the moonlight, a tuba, and you. Who, who, who needs to learn how to dance? That's so true. The breeze, though abundant, is merely... Or maybe the trees, though abundant, are merely redundant. And... Uh, da, 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 da. I, That's no, my I favorite part. It. Really? Da, 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 the part da, 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 that I, da, da, da. <laughs> Right, the part where I get the wrong chord? <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I'll learn that song and we'll do it. Yeah, but yeah. so that is on the first Elmo Aardvark album, and we will... Hopefully make that available to people who are interested in... It's not here. It's the only one that's not here. The first one? Yeah. Is it orange? No, no. no. It's, oh, oh, wait. It's You have it. You actually own a rare copy of this. Guy. I Can do. I see this? Here. It's like a 16-page booklet or something it's with it, too. It's Elmo Ardvar yeah. Classic Cartoon, Cartoon Soundtracks featuring... Featuring, uh, let's see, Walker Edmiston is on this. Is he? He's on the first track. Well, I don't know why this part... Whoop. Yeah. It kind of came okay. apart because... Because we you were it. throwing it at me. Snappy Tune Amusement Company. Well, these are special thanks to. Oh, special thanks to. Am I on here? Uh, let's see. Probably not. I don't know. Bob Rettelmeyer for the loan. Bob Rettelmeyer. Rettelmeyer. And oh, Al Bob Yankovic? Rettelmeyer's on here? Yeah. Oh, he's an excellent clarinet player. 
No kidding. Oh, man, I didn't know he was guest on Guest stars. Wait a sec. Yeah, that means all three Palm, Palm Springs Yacht Club members are on the here. The guest stars on this album are June Foray, mm -hmm. the Palm Springs Yacht Club. June Foray, the voice of Rocky the Flying Squirrel and right. many, many others. And uh, Victoria Jackson. Victoria Jackson from Saturday Night Live. Right. And I, we all had dinner in your uh, your yes, house one time. I gave her soup. She had performed at the Comedy and Magic Club. Oh. And we came over and we all went and jumped on the trampoline in the backyard. Cool. Do you Is remember that the that? first time you met? You guys met, right? Yeah. Yeah. Victoria. <clears throat> but now she lives in Florida, Florida or Tennessee because she's friends with Tori Martin and and um, a Marshall Younger. Really? Writers from hmm. Adventures in Odyssey who write many other things and movies. They've written comedy. Would, did you go to the premiere when Marshall had his premiere out here? No, I didn't know about it. I guess I forgot to tell you. Well, now you know. <laughs> anyway. Sorry, Zach and Jesse. So, we, so yeah, and they've written some now you feature know another films. Show. This is yes. Tell You Later. I knew that. You didn't have to hit the bell. It's oh. only when I'm learning something okay. new. Okay. I thought you learned or something new. You, no, I know that. Tell, okay, so, um, yeah, so what was I saying? Uh so, the, yeah, they, they write feature films, and Victoria starred in some of their films. So no form. Yeah, she's friends oh. with them. So next time you talk to her, say, hey, I heard you know Marshall Younger. Hmm. Well, I may have lost track of her because I thought she was in Florida. But well, she, she might still be there. Ah, okay, yeah. Uh, but she's just friends. Diane Michelle, Hollywood in... Cartoon Band. Yes. Okay. The Hollywood Cartoon Scat Band. Scat Boys. You remember the original Hollywood Cartoon Band. Do I? It started at uh, the Gummy Bears. It was Lorenzo and Bill Scott. And oh, and, and, really? And, yeah. No yeah. kidding. Yep. And we'll Kent have Holiday to show a picture of them. and um, Henrietta music. Mm-hmm. At Lorenzo is Lorenzo music. His wife was Henrietta. Right, and Lorenzo was the voice of Garfield, your cat. And uh, the Carlton, the doorman, Carl, from yeah. the Bob Newhart show. That's right. Right, mm -hmm. and uh, he was also Tummy Gummy in the Gummy Bears. That's right. We did I mention maybe in the last episode how long we've been working with each other? We were trying to mathematically figure it out. It's between thirty-five and forty years. Yes. Okay. Well, no more math. Clem and Ruby. Clem and Ruby. Clem and Ruby. Mm -hmm. Isn't that Diane Fireworks Michelle? Were, um. Well, Diane, Michelle, and I do an imitation of Clem and Ruby. Oh, I but see. But the real Clem and Ruby. Yes. Okay, and you the know real, what? This the real, the authentic Clem and Ruby. Compiled by Will Ryan. Mm -hmm. So this is very good. And yeah. if I, correct me if I'm wrong. Okay, you're did wrong. You, <laughs> no, go ahead. Did you not draw this yourself? I did, uh, I did, did the pencil. Did you discover this? Pencil. Yes. Yeah, yeah, I did the pencil of that. He has two teeth. Did yeah. you, if he talked, what would he sound like? Zoinks! <laughs> Elmo Aardvark! That's your service? <laughs> Something like Very that. Very good. On the gummy bears, okay. I have to remind myself well, that mm -hmm. we said when we mention any shows that we've been in, we're going to do the voices. Oh, okay. So in the gummy bears, <clears throat> I played Sunny Gummy, and she kind of talked like this. And what did you do in the gummy bears? I essayed the role of a young chap by the name of Unwin of Dunwin. What did he, what did he and sound he like? And he sounded something like this. Um, kind of. Ah, oh, Kevin, there's no such thing as gummy bears. Ah. And I also essayed the role of a herd of ogres. There were uh, two of them actually got names over the years because it was in production for I think seven years, the show, and um, so one of them was like that, uh -huh. and his name was. Uh, Oh, Gad and Zooks. Gad were, and were, Zooks. Were, yes, were the two primary ones. Gad and Zooks. And one of them was like that, and the other one was, uh, uh, yeah. Oh, so if they spoke, uh, say three of them, it would go, I'm going to catch me a gummy bear. I'm going to catch a gummy bear, too. And then the third guy, nah, me catch gummy bear. Then we have a grand total of, um, oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know, Part, and there were others. <laughs> a lot of our audience are probably uh, conspi No, that's the word. Aspiring, not conspiring. <laughs> Aspiring uh, perhaps. voice actors. So I was just watching you, you know, looking at your hands. Is there a voice acting tip that you could share that makes you able to do three different Yes, play characters? ukulele. <laughs> <laughs> then your fingers will be a lot more dexterous. 
But you do use your whole body when you're yes, acting, that's, right? Evidently, yeah, right. I mean, uh, friends. Sometimes would, you don't even notice. Friends not in the business would come to a recording session sometimes, and and then afterwards they said, "You, you look ridiculous. Or you looked hilarious <laughs> doing these things. I never realized that." And I thought, "Really? I didn't know." You know. You and have then, to be then, completely then, self-conscious then to yeah. be a voice actor, right? <laughs> Unself-conscious. No. Oh, yes. Unself. Completely not self-conscious. Right. Not. One or the other. Let us know what you think. Yes. In the comments below. Okay. Front. <laughs> yeah, because we do do crazy stuff. And, yeah. you know, I, I oh, think... Oh, that's a great thing about it. It, it. There's no cameras. Nobody can see it. So you can look as dumb as possible. Be. Yeah. <laughs> but you can't worry about what you look like because that helps your performance. No. Right? Because I, I coach people in animation, and I always say animation is like a sport because hmm. it takes a lot of energy. Oh, right. that's right. right. That's right. Yeah. Do you remember? Yes. <laughs> Do they call them exertions, like at the end of a, a you know, oh. especially if you're doing one of those uh, video games or yes. something? Yes. But I don't know if they call them exertions. Well, There's you know, another name. Yeah, uh, I know. Efforts. 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 Oh, that's Different right. Different efforts. Yeah. Like that's too many syllables, getting, exertions. That's three whole syllables. That would be, Who could learn that? Takes too long. <laughs> Time is money. Yeah, come on. Let's do the tries now. Never. Let's do the tries. Because <laughs> <laughs> sometimes, because there's different sounds, right? Like if you get hit, <clears throat> it yeah, sounds spelled different o -O -F. <laughs> than when you actually hit somebody. Yeah, right. Right? And we'll prove it. Here. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Oh. <laughs> please, please, a little decorum, if you will. Yeah. <laughs> if you will. <laughs> Okay. Go oh, ahead. Yeah. Okay, Can ready? you do that? Okay, I'm going to hit you right here. You are? Yeah. Wait, I hit you the wrong way. Here we go. One more okay. time. Okay, ready? Yeah. Ow! <laughs> but you don't have to do that. Okay, that's the that's the clip we use to sell the show. <laughs> <laughs> but, but you... Th Let's do it again. Let's do it again. Again? Yeah. Ready? <laughs> no. Oh, that was my wait. face. Yeah, I, I, okay, I, I, on my I, hand. I, I, I got it. I got it. Ready? Okay, ready? Why you, I ought to... Ow! Was that good? Yeah, I think Ow! so. Ow! <laughs> <laughs> it was a little delayed reaction. <laughs> I'm always a little behind. <laughs> well, no comment. No comment. Oh, well. Mm. I do my best. I do my best. So, yeah, because that, that's, that's really fun. And then when you recorded that show, did you... You kind of did them all one after the other, just like that, yeah, right? Yeah, of course. Sure. Of course. Because Gad you're and that Zook, good. Once they realized, hey, let's make characters out of two of these uh, silly ogres. ogres. And so they gave them names, and they suddenly gave them dialogue. And, mm -hmm. and um, so they became personalities. And then you had to talk. Well, yeah, I always had to talk. Which I mean, is... they talked from the beginning. Mm -hmm. But, um, yeah. So, you know, I was given the little signal that we don't have time to do the opening. Again? Uh, <laughs> right. Oh. Yeah. All so, right. So, well. so, uh, so we'll tell you later about, about the NBC story that we're going to tell. Mm. Can and we please get to it next time? Sure. Because I'm kind of on pins and needles. Kind of. You mean not literally? Kind of. Kind of. If I was, if I, if I was, if I were on pins and needles, I would say. That's correct. I know. You corrected yourself. I corrected yourself. myself. Right. So you can, yeah. Oh, now he wants to ring the bell every time he thinks I say something that's not grammatical, right? Right, except I realize that you usually are grammatical. So I'm pretty, I, yeah. yeah. So, and that bummed him out because he really wanted to hit it more often. So we yeah, have to, we'll have to come up with something yeah, else. Yeah, if you have any ideas of when we should ring our bell, please let us know. Yes. Anyway, I know that we're going to tell you later. I like to play Sudoku, oh, sure. I like to play Sudoku, mm -hmm. I'll, I'll play and praise that game for days Sudoku. That's nice. Okay.
Sudoku. I'm sure. I like to play Sudoku.